Greetings and welcome to Gamay's Alone Book Corner, where we take a look at fine pieces of casual-related literature. But not today, however, as I'll be finishing off a trilogy of books I started talking about way back in 2016. Today's subject is Kaiju Apocalypse 3, by Eric S. Brown and Jason Cordova. Let's get to the plot. The battle between humans and the Kaiju has come to an end, and humans lost. The last remnants of humanity are forced to band together in tribes scattered across the planet. One such tribe, led by Kuri, the daughter of the tribe's deceased former leaders, happens upon a radio signal telling of a way to bring an end to the Kaiju threat. Kuri and her tribe set out, following the directions of the voice over the radio, in search of the ultimate weapon to battle the Kaiju. First and foremost, you probably noticed that at no point did I mention Mother of All from the previous book. That's because, despite being the only good thing about the previous book, this one decides to inform the reader that the creature died as a result of its injuries sustained at the end of that book. Let me repeat that. The best thing about the last book dies off screen before this book even starts. Thankfully, there is something positive I can say about this book, and that is that, for once, I actually give a damn about the main protagonist of the book, in this case, Curry. She's given a decent amount of development early on in the book, and as a result, I actually cared about her and her journey over the course of the book. And the book, instead of having two plot lines that barely ever interact, like the previous two books, instead focuses solely on the quest for the ultimate weapon introduced in the previous book. And the space station subplot that the previous book had is never brought up, and therefore never explained, making me wonder why it was even in the second book at all. Oh, right, Philip Pages. And then there's the ending. This is a spoiler warning, just in case anyone actually wanted to read this book and didn't want the ending spoiled for them. In which case, jump to this time in the video. For everyone else, let's go. The ultimate weapon blows up the planet, killing the kaiju along with the humans. Yet yeah, any hope of a happy ending was pretty much lost at the end of the previous book, but this not only hammers in the final nail in the coffin, but buries it as well. And I knew it was coming because an Amazon review for this book spoiled it for me. And oddly enough, that's a good thing. Because knowing how the book ended allowed me to wonder how it got to that point. Kind of like a movie that shows a scene from late in the story at the start and leaves the audience curious about how the characters got into that mess. Kaiju Apocalypse 3 is not a good book. But when you compare it to the other two entries, it's not terrible. This is easily the best story in the entire series, but with that having been said, I'm glad to be finally done with this series so that I never have to even think about it ever again. Until next time, I'm Protomet. Farewell.